This morning, we're learning about new security plans for Morgan State University. This follows a shooting on the Baltimore campus last week during homecoming. The plan is modeled after other schools around the country. Dre Clark is live in New York with more. Dre. Good morning. Yeah, Fordham University is located right here in the heart of the Bronx. This is also the borough with the city's highest violent crime rate. So robbery, shootings, and assaults happen all throughout the Bronx. But the university uh, has surrounded the campus here with these iron and chain link fences, also large stone walls. And then you have security here as well. All of these measures put in place to keep that criminal element from invading the campus here. Meanwhile, another university, about four hours south of where we are this morning, is embracing the same kind of layout after a recent campus shooting. Morgan State University in Baltimore may soon be getting a major security overhaul. The university president announcing this week the school plans to ask the Maryland State Legislature for $22 million to pay for security upgrades to the campus. Nearly $6.5 million will be spent on a new security wall. The wall will be an extension adding one and a half miles of wall around 90% of the campus. School president Dr. David Wilson saying the wall would effectively eliminate unfettered access. A week ago, the campus was placed on lockdown and students ordered to shelter in place after a shooting during homecoming festivities left five people injured, including four students. Police just releasing these photos of persons of interest in the shooting. Meanwhile, all of the victims have been released from the hospital. The wall certainly is good for stranger violence. Um, and like I said, it's good for funneling and kind of controlling, you know, people going in. But if you know, if it's, if the attacker or someone you know or someone that's expected to be there or someone that doesn't, or doesn't raise an eyebrow for them to show up, the wall isn't going to stop them. Security walls and barbed wire fencing around college campuses is not a novelty concept. Perimeter protection is oftentimes considered the first line of defense. The most commonly reported crimes on campuses are burglaries, rapes, and motor vehicle thefts. And with the emergence of gun violence on school campuses, securing points of entry is crucial to keeping students safe. Are walls good? Yeah. Are walls going to um, prevent um, uh, a predator who is welcome and who can walk in regardless? Probably not. So um, again, you, you have to really um, take a hard look at your vulnerabilities. And here at Fordham University, they just released a public safety report, which actually shows an increase in crime between 2021 uh, and 2022. Uh, some of those crimes on the rise include a uh, burglary, vehicle theft, rape incidents, drug possession, as well as weapons possession. So a wall, yes, can discourage some crimes from happening, but that report clearly showing it's not a cure-all. Adrian. Yes, uh, everybody needs to stay vigilant, including students. Thank you, Dre. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.